Over the years, I've been lucky enough to step into the Today Show kitchen and watch the best chefs from around the world teach us some incredible recipes. We had made that pesto, which was, oh, exactly. darn. Oh, you know, I almost got out of this one clean. Cool. Turn it down. <laughs> oh, my God. I had one job. None of which I've mastered because, well, I actually don't know the first thing about how to cook. But I'm hoping to put that all behind me. Today, cookbook author and Southern comfort food extraordinaire, hostess with the mostest, Elizabeth High School, is here to teach me the basics of how to cook. She's going to be my guide as I attempt to make steak two ways. First, marinated skirt steak with roasted pepper and onions, and then a steakhouse style filet mignon with roasted Brussels sprouts. I've been waiting a long time to use that cast iron pan. Frankly, I've been avoiding it, but no more. So let's get started. Again. I know, I'm so excited. You are my Obi-Wan. This my is Luke it. Skywalker. This is it, honey. I promise we're going to make it happen. And I mean, honestly, who does not love a perfectly cooked steak? I love a steak. Everybody does. And I swear, I swear, it's so much easier than you could ever imagine. Okay? okay. This is our plan. Marinate the skirt steak, cut and prep the vegetables, grill the skirt steak, sear, baste, and finish the filet mignon. Let the meat rest. Cut and serve. All right, so here is our marinated skirt steak. Go ahead and get this out. Do I just go to the butcher and say, I want skirt steak? Exactly. They won't laugh at me. No, let's unfold him. Why do we call it skirt steak? It's just that cut of meat. It goes actually at, under the abdomen. That oh, is yes, exactly, exactly where it, it goes. goes. It fits you, ooh, right, the waist. Now, okay. Yes, if you have a piece of meat that is as big as your waist, yes. you're going to want to cut it. Yes. Okay? So we're going to cut this into four pieces so that we can manage it in our um, in our skillet. Now, okay? is this one of those against the grain things? Not right now. After we cook it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. But right now, I just need you to cut this into cut four pieces. Okay, I got it. Yep, yep. Nice, long, good. Very, look at you, oh my God, look, we get some skills. We're just gonna measure out all of our ingredients for our marinade okay. and put them right in the bag. Cheers! I mean, seriously, it's Wednesday. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Only on days that end with Y. Those are the only days I drink. Okay, let's go. One quarter cup packed light brown sugar. This I know how to do because of bacon. Now, and remember this, yes, open this up. This is kind of interesting. So we put a little piece of bread in here. Why? Uh, well, because it's gonna keep the brown sugar from getting hard. This is very soft brown I'm sugar. I'm telling you, that's because of the bread. Roll it in there. Let's okay. do our soy. Two tablespoons soy sauce. One tablespoon, One tablespoon of balsamic. Very good. One can chipotle in adobo well, sauce. First, it's tomatoes, onion, garlic is oh. making the sauce. It's earthy, it's smoky, and it's going to add another depth of flavor to this marinade. So let's chop this up. Okay. We want to chop Are it up. Are we chopping up all the No, all the uh, No, that would set us all on fire. And so we want it to be... You're good. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then, once you kind of get through... Mm -hmm. Then you can always go back over it. Yeah, like I would just, my instinct would be to kind of like do this thing. Uh, very nice. Yes, look, that, see, did you just see that? Instinct. Instinct. You're getting it, you're getting okay. it. So because it's a little bit of a tougher piece of meat, mm -hmm. that's why we're going to marinate this. Now okay. listen, you can do this for eight hours. We would love 24 hours. You mean marinating? Exactly. So, I mean, if you ran home and, you know, even if you only had an hour, you know, that's going to be good. First, we want to pull them. all of this air out of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's one of my favorite parts. I don't know why, do, why I love loving that. I love I you. Love <laughs> sake, I love you. And so then what we'll do is massage it. Do you feel like this is I do. fully coated? I think coated? you've done an absolutely beautiful job with that. And then, yes, that is going to go into the fridge to marinate. And so we'll okay. just put it back here. All right. So now we finished our marinade, and we're going to start our roasted vegetables. Okay. And I have got something that is going to change your life when it comes to this. Tell me. So this is, it has all the vegetables that you might want to roast, and then the different times. And you don't have to have a recipe. This is going to be so freeing for you, honestly. So we're going to start with our Brussels sprouts. I'm going to show you, and then you're going to finish. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut the end off of it, and then we're going to cut it in half, and okay. it's going to go into our bowl. Okay. Okay? What about frozen? Uh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Well, th what happens? That's is, how we did in the '70s in my mom's well, kitchen. Well, and, and that is why we didn't like them. Oh, I hated them. They were just when I was a little kid to put one bite of a Brussels sprout oh, in my there mouth was, was oh god, it was close hell on to earth. torture as you could hell imagine. On earth. If you roast them though, it's a whole new world. And then here we are again. You have got those done. Those All are right. beautiful. Set them over here. And that's what we're going to pair with that filet mignon. Okay. And now we're going to move on to our peppers. And so what I like to do is cut it in half. Go ahead and cut it straight just in like half. That. Uh huh. Being very careful to see where you're beautiful. And then I just pull this right out. Oh. 
and then we're going to make nice long slices. You want to keep it even. That's one of the main secrets about roasting vegetables mm -hmm. is that they all need to cook and get finished at the same time. What about these white bits? Like so I used those, to cut those out And sometimes. you can. You can. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. So if you will hold your knife here, mm -hmm. it's going to give you a lot more security mm -hmm. and I think you're going to be more comfortable with it. I like your grip. The grip is better. It's so much better because you have more control. And when you have more control of your knife, you're more comfortable. All right, so now we're going to get to our Onions. Oh, onions. How are we doing it though? Dice? Now, we're going to do just like a rainbow. So just a half moon. So we're going to cut it in half. Okay. Both ends off and then keep going. So what we're going to do, we're going to roast all of our vegetables on separate pans because again, well, that sounds like a pain. Well, it is, but it's really going to make that much of a difference. When you're only using a few ingredients mm -hmm. and salt and pepper, the technique is so important in making this successful. Okay. okay? I would have thrown so them all I the know, same pan. I know you would have. Cares? And some of them would have burned, and okay. some of them would have been raw, and then you would have been frustrated and said, I don't know how to roast vegetables. Yeah. Okay, so it's technique. Yeah. You're getting very good with your knife, and I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. I'm working on it. But I do have to be reminded about where to hold it, to grip it. It's like a bat when you when you, when you choke up on the bat. Or your tennis racket. You know yeah, this. I do. If you held your tennis racket with your finger hanging out like that, you wouldn't be worth a damn. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm so. still not worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just FYI, but you, I take, point taken. Point taken. So now I want you to generously olive oil these. Yes, there, there we go. Okay. Beautifully coated. Mm -hmm. Good. And that's going to help to ensure that this is going to caramelize. We want it to get that beautiful brown color. Now I can't see, stop. See, I, I know, it's kind of fun, yeah. isn't it? Now we're going to salt, salt it generously. We're going to pepper it generously. Now do I need to like sprinkle then toss or just sprinkle, throw it all in there? Sprinkle. Too much? That's, that's a it. lot. That's going to be done. Okay, okay, that's all you need and then we'll toss it. It kind of helps if you want to, you know, go ahead and go in the circle so you're not just dumping it oh, in the middle. Okay. That will kind of help it just okay. a little bit. I would say less pepper than salt, no? And, and that's the great news. It's yours. Okay. So do whatever you want. This recipe is not the boss of you. Yeah. You are the boss of it, okay? Right. Take that recipe. <laughs> I'm not going right, to take it anymore from mix. you. Now, and also at home, listen, if you don't want to pull out three different sheet pans. I don't own three different sheet well, pans. Well, that's the deal. Okay, I get that. You can always separate it. Okay. So you could do Brussels sprouts here, onions here. So let's okay. throw the onions on one. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, pan. I just uh -huh. need to share. Okay. Yes. It says don't crowd the pan. Correct. We keep, do not want to crowd it. These want to keep their social distance. Let's mm -hmm. flip these little guys over oh. because the more surface area that's on the bottom of this pan, okay. the more beautiful they're going to be. Mm. All right, and now we have one more. Spread that And why out. are we doing three pans again? Because they're all going to cook at different times. Oh, okay. Okay, and if we otherwise, the Brussels sprouts are going to be raw, these are going to be overdone, and yeah. the onions are going to be burnt, and we cannot have that. No. And so now we'll go in the oven with these. Why don't we put peppers and onions on top, and then we will do our sprouts on the bottom. Okay, well that was easy enough. There we go. Now, so what we'll do is we're going to let that cook for a little bit, okay. and then what we want to do is we'll want to rotate the pan. Like just move them around. Exactly. But do I have to flip them? I could get obsessed about flipping each other. You could, order. but you don't need to. Okay. okay. Very nice. That's good. Okay. All right. All right, so now our vegetables are roasting in the oven. You just gave them a nice toss, so we're going to leave those alone for a minute, and we are going to get ready to cook that beautiful skirt steak. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab that. It's 24 hours it's been marinating. So now what we're going to do is pull it out. We're going to put it on this paper towel. What will happen when we get ready to cook this? Smells our amazing. pan is going to be as hot as the hinges of hell. Do you understand me? Okay. And if this marinade is still on here. Like that was trippy. No, you're good. Okay. We're going to pat it. I mean, we're about to get serious with this. Okay. Because it will end up just steaming it and almost boiling it. Oh. And that's not what we want. We want that beautiful caramelized crust. So we are really going to get all the moisture out of it. Okay. So we are going to press on this. We're soaking it up. Now let's come over here. I want you to... Okay, just a question. Is yes. this pan hot? Hot as the hinges of hell, honey. It is hot. Do not touch it. Brush it 
with um, the canola oil. Okay. And that will help it not stick. When we did that marinade, you have to remember that we added a little bit of sugar. We've also got balsamic that has mm -hmm. sugar in it. It's going to smoke a little bit, okay? okay. Smoking now. It, yes, because it, it's hot. So let's turn our vent on, which is that little button right over there, and that's gonna pull the smoke up. Okay, that vent's over there. How's that gonna help? It will. Okay. All right, let's okay. put that down. Doesn't matter which side? No, just put it down. Woo! Very good. So, but this little bit of smoke, it's gonna be so worth it, I promise. Let me get the grandma timer, grandma timer. Grandma, grandma alert. And um, so literally, it's just gonna take three minutes on both sides. Okay. Why do we use um, a cast iron pan? Why couldn't I just use a skillet? Oh, honey, because cast iron holds the heat. It cooks so evenly. It really is just the absolute best way when you're getting ready to cook a steak. Now, so, is it hot? It's hot as the hinges of hell. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's You're sticky. Okay. It's, it's broken. No, it's I burned not. It. No, the reason that it's sticky is we had a little bit of sugar in the marinade. But look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. I got to tell you, I would have said that's burnt. No, it's caramelized. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh God, I need the jaws of life Calm to down, get this thing off. Deep breath, deep breath. You're good. There you are. Oh, boy. Oh, look boy. Look at those beautiful marks. I You're mean, killing it. Pretty. It smells good. But see, this is where I would have felt like I did it wrong. Absolutely not. Okay. That's what you want. That's that wonderful crisp, caramelized. Oh, let's get on there. That's the heaven. I mean, come on. You got it. You got it. There you go. The stubborn Excellent. one. Okay, three minutes, said Grandma. Beautiful. Three minutes on the other beautiful, side. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. I think we're right there. We're about there. Just pull it up. Good. Look Excellent. at that. Excellent. It doesn't Excellent. matter what side. Look at how beautiful that is. I must say it is. Let's put it over there and let it rest. Okay. Rest for ten minutes. Be careful. That pan's hot. I know. The pan is hot. Wait, I'm sorry, is the pan hot? <laughs> Let me turn this off. Like, now it's not hot. All right, let's get these veggies out of All the right. oven before I burn them. Ooh, oh, they look good. I See? think they do. And now we've got our onions mm -hmm. and then our peppers. Should those have been browner or does that look good to you? I think that's nice. Okay. I think that's really good. We're going to use these for fajitas after mm -hmm. we slice that skirt steak up. And then the Brussels sprouts, we'll have this that with our fajitas. beautiful filet. This mignon. is a fajita seed. You are absolutely right. All right, so now we have our vegetables out, and we're ready to go with the the, the filet mignon. Oh, okay. We have two beautiful fillets. They're yes. so cute. Aren't they lovely? There's two beautiful. One, one for, for me, you. one for you. One for me, exactly. Um, so salt and pepper generously. If you don't season it well now, you literally have missed the boat. Sure. You said generous. Generously. Uh-huh. Sides? Absolutely. If you're going to eat the sides, you want it to be seasoned, right? Okay. Just there. Good. Very nice. Let's do that on both fillets, okay. and then we'll do the same thing with the pepper. Do you know if I served filet mignon to my husband? Oh, he'd lose his mind. I was going to say he'd have a heart attack, not because of the red meat, <laughs> but because I had actually I'm telling you, cooked something. No, He'll just be like, where's and the I And love, I love how you just did that. That was a oh. pro thing. Ooh, dang that it. was pro. You know what? I don't like things to go to waste. And there you are. Okay. How do you think? Good? It's perfect. Okay. Absolutely great, perfect. Great, great. I want you to go ahead and at least smash your garlic, and let's go ahead and pull our rosemary off. Use the side of this. Hold on. Let's like do this? one clove at a time. Oh. And let's turn the knife away from us, okay? Oh, okay. Good. And then, but I'm gonna smash and then it. you're going to use Should your I hand. Should I cut these tips off before or no? Oh, no. It ain't going to do a damn thing. It ain't going to do anything. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now, is that smashed enough? Well, I mean, I, I would have put a little I mean, more effort into it. that doesn't seem that more smashed. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Very That's nice. Good, That's good, but still it. big old. Well, if you want to okay. cut it up, you can. Well, it's do. not necessary. It's, it's more smash. Just... I want to be smashed. Okay, smash it. Smash it. Smash and not it. just smash with the margaritas. And not just with the margaritas. <laughs> and That's then we... smashed enough, you're saying. You're beautiful. Okay. It's just it's just a quick, easy, okay. you know, it's just a throw in, just okay. a little flavor. Okay. And then we have our rosemary. At least from one sprig, is this the pull-off deal? Ah. Uh, is taught me it? That is it? Is, is, is it? it? I think it is. Okay. So we'll start at the top, and then you're going to pull back. Good. And now you can do it. And doesn't that make it so much easier? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, and then just pick off the little ones on the end. Mm -hmm. okay. I enjoy brushing oil. Okay. Now, before we go, we're already starting to smoke. Let's get that vent on, okay? Oh, the Let's vent. turn the vent on. Hey. Okay. Woo! So should we go for it? We're ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so here we are. Oh, and hear that? So that's nice. That sizzle was ready. How long is it to? 
I think it's probably going to take about, you know, two to three minutes. We just want to get that beautiful caramelization. We want to lock in all of those juices. This is about like the crust, basically. Very much so. Should I be doing something with this butter to get ready for this whole scene? Well, I mean, you could go ahead and cut it. Do you think that's three No, that's not. Like there. Right there. That's right. And I a little that more bacon. isn't going to hurt this. Correct. And just know, Savannah, that smoke is normal. All right. All right. Oh, that's nice. That's very, very good. Isn't that? And now we want to go side, side, side. Okay, so that's how it should look. I love it. I love it. All right, so now this seems side. like a tricky little thing here. Why? Is You've it three got it. Okay, is it three minutes on each side? Do you want to go ahead and go ahead and do oh, the yes, other one too? Yeah. Beautiful. Are you just not concerned about my steak, Savannah? As long as yours is what perfect. Okay, yeah. Does so each, let's do a flip. Does each side, like, oh, jeez. Oh, you oh, can boy. do it. We, mm, Let it go. go. All right, and then your guy goes over. Oh. I swear it is just like Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid. <laughs> I'm so proud. It really is. I'm so proud Look of you. Elizabeth. But Savannah. I mean, that was beautiful the way you just flipped oh, that. Thank you. You're getting this. There's nothing like low expectations, Elizabeth. <laughs> this is fun. All right, let's get that that side right there. I'm getting this the bottom right. Uh, we're still doing sides, and yeah, then we're side, gonna side. Okay, and I still have this too. One more little side there. Very nice. This one nice. doesn't have another side, interestingly. Okay, so then we have the bottom. <laughs> like some people. But oh, wait, now should we do the other? This is still a rare side. And should so I do now that? we'll put that one down. Get and while that one's working, mm -hmm. then we're gonna do our little pan sauce. Okay. So we'll add our butter. <laughs> and I'm just throwing it in there. Yeah, throw that in. Fun. And then you can kind of hold the pan with the towel, okay? Be very careful. Mm, and yeah. now let's add our garlic and our rosemary. Now look how it looks like it's burning. I'm it's sorry. It's not. It's just, okay. it's not. Just it's throw good. this all in. Throw it in. Just sprinkle it around. Very good. And then we have this spoon, and we're going to just baste it. Be real careful of that So what's basting? That just pan. spooning it on? Uh-huh. Just fill up a nice big spoon and pour it over. Mm. Oh, look at you. Off to me. Okay, that's it. Come Keep on. going. Is it already like the leaves and the bits are there? Uh huh. Now is it Very bad that nice. I just moved it? It's perfectly fine. Okay. Look at that. I mean, that looks like that's it. Come to mind. That is a tell. That's it. I need that's it right what now. Just like for. that. Keep basting. Uh huh. And now we're getting ready. One more baste. When we put our thermometer in, you want to be really careful that we go right into the middle of this steak, okay? okay. If you go all the way to the bottom, it's going to give us a false read. It'll be too hot. Oh. So just stick it in. Let's go all the way to the middle. Right now, we're at 74 degrees on okay. this thermometer. I want to go, like, in the middle. Uh-huh. Are you in the middle? I feel like I am. Okay, good. So this is going to be a team effort. Look at how it's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold this. You're going to put one hand here and one pan there. Yeah. And then we're going to take it to the oven. Oh, but we didn't check the other one. Do you want me to take this out? No, no, no. It's fine. They're the same size. They're okay. going to cook just about the same. Do you want me to take this out now? No, it's going to go into the oven with the thermometer. It's an oven read. It Isn't can that go fancy? into the oven? Well, this is going to stay out. That's going to stay in. Whoa, and okay. we're going to do this together. How we, now, the way? oven's hot. Go on in. So, if you were at home by yourself, yeah. yay, you would wait and you would put your, you would put your thermometer in now and then um, you would shut it. And look at it here. Look at there. Wow. Isn't that fun? And then we could even turn on an oven light if we want to look at it in here. So we want to get up to about, well, 127. Okay. Because once it comes out, the temperature is going to raise a few more degrees. Okay. 130 is going to be a perfect medium rare. Okay. So we'll just sit here and let this So you do 127 up. figuring it's going to continue to cook when it's out on the... Correct. It's, How long in the oven is that's it really? why I mean, it's like, what, four minutes, yeah. three minutes? So it's quick. Okay. It is quick, and, so, and that is the thing that's a little unnerving because mm -hmm. it's not hard, it's just fast. You just got to be so ready to roll. those sides and ready to roll. I mean, seriously, would your husband not die? And you can do this at home. He'd be dead. I'd be to have to step over his dead body. <laughs> He died in shock, and I'm like, excuse me. Well, I made Hold two on, steaks, but now steak. you died in shock. So I'll have to eat both steaks myself. Or one degree. Okay, there we go, 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 go. Okay, now where do I put it, though? All right, we're going to put it back on our induction. Okay? Oh, jeez. It's, it's okay. I would be like, it's dead. Be careful. I died Wait, let's focus. Focus. Oh, deep breath. breath. And we're going to focus. Oh, jeez. This is terrifying. Ah! Shoot. That one's on you. Okay. <laughs> where do I put it? <laughs> right there. It looks incredible. Please, I would if, you just look at that? It's absolutely beautiful. Remember that time you burned me with the thermometer? No, I don't. It's a Savannah, hot pan. I don't remember that. 
Okay. So where do I put these? I should take them off yes, the hot take pan. take it off the hot pan. These look delicious. And then let me grab our sprouts. Yeah. And we'll scrape them on and then this one is gonna be done. We'll grab our vegetables. Okay. Is it okay that they've just been sitting on those? They haven't like continued to burn or anything? No, yeah, not at all, not at all. Just kind of add those to this. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's it. So now let's grab our beautiful skirt steak. Mm. It's been resting. Yeah. So now all of those juices have reabsorbed into the fibers. Let's move this here. We can still use those. Should tongs. I serve it or no? Should I we're going to cut it. Oh, we're going to okay. thinly slice it. And this, without a doubt, is probably one of the most important things. We are going to cut this across the grain. So do you see these long, these long fibers that are yes. going this way? Yeah, all right. So if we were to cut it with those, yeah, I would have followed the line. I mean, if we did this. It is going to be so tough in your mouth, you're not going to be able to chew it. Wow. So then we will cut this way. And you want to kind of do it on the bias. So just a little bit of a um, angle. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, I know you can do this. Very, very no. okay, nice. Yoda. Very nice. There is no try. There is only do. But look, Yoda. and there you are. I do. I mean, figure that out. this like, is just have, wonderful. Like, isn't it funny that like someone figured out at some point? That we need to go across the yeah. grain. And now you know what they're talking about. So this about. is this, and now I'll go like this. Perfect. Right? Across the grain. And that is going to make sure that every single bite mm -hmm. is so tender and so delicious and so flavorful. Mm -hmm. You're not even going to believe it. It's taking all of my self-control not to just start eating this. <laughs> Always remember though, Savannah, that since you're the chef, mm -hmm. you get to have the chef special. What's that? You know, which is just like one little piece, like before oh. it goes. Well, mm, oh, this you gotta make sure it's amazing. Taste you know. Test? Okay, let me finish this, and I'm gonna do. Oh, that. is I'm sorry, I'm making you do all the work, and I'm just sitting over here enjoying oh, myself. Oh, I love it. Oh, is it problem. really good? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely delicious. I hate these last little bits. That's where I, that's where it's like the risk of mm -hmm. blood is high. Okay, I'm gonna take a little chef's special. But because we did that marinade, the caramelization, you know, it's got that little bit of crunch, that beautiful Real nice. depth of flavor, that little bit of sweetness. Mm. So let's add it to our tray okay. here. Tongs? What? Yeah, let's okay. do tongs. Tongs are going to be perfect. Best steak I ever made. Only steak I ever made. But is yeah. it really? Mm -hmm. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Is, I mean, is this it? Is it dinner this served? This is it, honey. I mean, we can go ahead and take this over to the table. Okay, yay. And I'll grab these beautiful steaks. I can't believe it. Yeah, it doesn't get any better. Oh Absolutely gosh. does not get any better. It looks incredible. I and the margarita. But so see, you could serve this with the flour tortillas yeah. and the pico de gallo and cheese. Or you could do that with the mashed potatoes and maybe some roasted carrots. Whatever your kids love, now you know how to roast every vegetable that there is. This is the first time I've made a steak and the first time I've roasted a vegetable. Cheers! Not my first margarita. <laughs> no. We Let's are, do this. We're good at this. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. Okay, so what do we do? Let's do a little bit oh, yeah. of this. Come to mama. And then here we are mm -hmm. with those and beautiful roasted vegetables know, that you I love did. It. You know, it's that moment right before you cut into your steak that you kind of take that breath wondering, you know, was it yeah. was it cooked properly? Well, that's what is I Is it just like I like look uh, it It's so oh. tender. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is my Christmas card. That's it. That should be absolutely. I mean, late. this looks incredible. That doesn't get okay, any let's better. Taste it. Delicious. I'm mean, not say. I am sorry. Mm. You killed it. So absolutely good. killed it. It's so tender. Let me try these Brussels. And I love. Mm. Not mom's frozen. The aromatic of just that little bit of garlic and rosemary that we threw in at the last minute was beautiful. It is really delicious. Okay, now I gotta try skirt steak. Tender, not chewy, because mm -hmm. we cut it across the grain. And that's the key. I Neither. might have added a little more salt. And that's Lesson fine. Lesson learned. So now you know. We've opened up so many possibilities to you, because you saw two ways to make a steak, one with a marinade, one without, and then we know exactly how to roast vegetables. So you've got everything from roasting an onion and peppers, if you wanted to make fajitas, all the way to beautiful Brussels sprouts or butternut squash. I mean, it's unbelievable what you can do now. I know, it's uh, so could you, are you saying that like other cuts of steak I could prepare in the same way? Absolutely, so it doesn't matter whether it's a ribeye, 
or if you are doing a filet like we did today, it's the same method. It just depends on the cut of the meat. You're either gonna marinate it and have to be very careful with the way you cook it, or you're gonna go sear it on all sides and go in the oven to finish. Just so you've done it. Now I can make anything. You really can. Just, Any just, sort of protein and vegetable. I just have one final question. What is that? Is the pan hot? <laughs> Honey, that pan is hotter than the hinges of hell. <laughs> How about the streak? It's cold as ice. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.